Hey yo, what is up? My name is Ishan. You're probably busy, which is perfect because on this channel, we like to keep things sweet and short. No fluff, just quick and to the point. So in the next few minutes, we're going to be going over the best airline stock to be buying right now. So make sure you've subscribed because we're so, so close to 1000 subscribers. And unlike other YouTubers, I only make short and value packed videos. No fluff. I don't waste 10 to 20 minutes of your time. You can't even believe how much one simple quick subscribe means. So make sure you subscribe and let's clock in. <laughs> So airlines have been struggling for months now because let's face it, the last thing anybody would be wanting to do right now is traveling. And plus many countries still have their travel restrictions imposed. And so even Warren Buffett ended up dumping its airline stocks months ago. However, last week, TSA checkpoints at US airports rose for a second consecutive week with over 830,000 people on Sunday alone, its highest level since March 17th, but traffic is still down by approximately 70% from the year ago. Looking at this chart, we can clearly see the huge disconnect from last year, but despite soaring cases, this is a pretty positive sign. To top it all off, we also got news that President Trump is entrusted in more funds and help for the airlines. So amongst this, the question now remains what airline stock to buy? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the ultimate stock, which is Southwest Airlines. In fact, approximately two months ago, as you can see from the screen recording up here, I bought a call for Southwest Airlines up over $100 right now. And I'm still looking to pick up some more calls in the coming weeks. Now, the first reason I believe Southwest is a clear winner is because of their strong balance sheet. In their second quarter earnings report, they said, quote, we have strong liquidity with cash and short term investment investment of $14.5 billion as of June 30th, 2020. The only investment grade credit rating in the US airline industry by all three agencies and unencumbered assets of 12 billion with 10 billion in aircraft. So with a current cash burn of approximately $23 million a day, down from a peak of $30 million a day a few months ago, this cash should last them over two years. And look, they could always sell and liquidate their aircrafts to raise more capital, but with the current stockpile of cash that they have, I highly doubt that that's something that they will have to end up doing. So just looking at their balance sheet and their significant reduction in cash flow, Southwest is pretty attractive and they've significantly got and all their expenses down compared to their competitors and are in a really strong position to come out at the top and survive here. Another major reason I see Southwest as a winner is because of their focus on domestic travel. While international travel has slumped because of all sorts of travel restrictions, domestic travel has gotten a bump and we've heard that US domestic trips are up 57% in June month over month and international trips up 53%. And last month we heard that American Airlines plans to fly 55% of its domestic schedule in July up from May when the airline only flew 20% of its schedule from a year earlier. So domestic travel, which is basically all Southwest does, is bouncing back and makes things even better for Southwest. In fact, in a recent survey reported by the New York Post, which surveyed over 30,000 people, 52% are setting their sights on domestic trips and only 1 in 10 will head abroad. And it is for these reasons that analysts are expecting Southwest to return to profitability next year and recoup almost 75% of 2019 revenue. At this point, Southwest is probably one of the safest airline investments. Not only do they have a ton of cash, but with domestic trips increasing, their business is only getting better. Now it's just a waiting game to see if a vaccine can be approved. When the TSA reported that number of the highest since March 17 that they had seen traffic, airline stocks soared over 10% that day. So just think about the potential of them soaring and how much they could go up if a vaccine did end up getting passed. But on the other hand, you can also look at if a vaccine got rejected, how much they would drop. Regardless, Southwest is a clear winner here. So make sure you've subscribed. We're so close to 1000 subscribers and this video was super short and value packed so you didn't have to waste 10 to 20 minutes of your time. So make sure you subscribe, like, let me know down below what stocks are you guys are buying, what airlines companies you believe are in the future to succeed and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Clocking out for now. Peace.